I mean, I, I get made fun of every now and then, just jokingly, by like some of my friends at work. I'll tell them, I'll be like, look, I'll show you. <laughs> they laugh at me a little bit. When they find out, they're just like, really? Jennifer? <laughs> you wear that in public? <laughs> You know, wearing a costume to a contest and going to a convention, those things are pretty nerdy enough as they are, but to actually put the costume on and walk around with it, that's a whole new level that I had never actually uh, done. But when I did it, I wore the uh, Sand People costume. I got the bug. I mean, I felt like a celebrity, even though I was just some guy in a Star Wars costume. So, you know, this year with having the opportunity, I'm going to keep doing this. Panic and chaos. Uh, that's the shorter version of saying we are uh, we are enduring Hell Week. Uh, Hell Week is that week before Con where we uh, we've worked very hard to put all of our props together, but uh, we're still not quite all the way there. And now we're going over time to finish them before the con begins. Right now it's kind of work, but it'll be. But I know later down the road it'll be fun later, because it's just the the shock and awe of, of the people that see us. Just like it, it's kind of cool, just to, uh, to see the reaction we see in people, because they, all, everyone we meet, even little kids who haven't even who only seen the movies through their parents because it came out so long ago. Kind of like, wow, there's the Ghostbusters. So it's just that kind of nice feeling. We do it because we love to do it. Uh, it's, it's, that's really what it boils down to. Uh, we have the tools and we have the talent. We build props. And I guess it's, I loved Halloween as a kid. It was always my favorite holiday. And I guess I just never really grew out of that. I started out being like, a, you know, this big sci-fi fan, comic books movies, um, different things like that. And then I started going to Comic-Con, seeing people dressing up. I mean, once you get into it, you know, you start meeting different people and different things. And I, I, I kind of like the attention, too. Yeah. <laughs> so apparently uh, it's fun, you know, just you get known by different people, by different groups. Call me a closet nerd. So, like, <laughs> the unsuspected. <laughs> um, yeah, I apparently blend very well, so none of them expect it whatsoever. I, have, I mean, I have little Mario characters up on my desk, but they still don't expect this. So, um... <laughs> Costumers, of course, are not a, uh, a paid part of Comic-Con. We're guests. We pay to get a pass to go in there. Our strategy in the past has been you can get into the convention center parking lot if you're willing to go there around 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. But uh, this year we're going to get a U-Haul van and go down there and we will use that as our storage area. I love recreating the prop. When I was a kid, I saw Ghostbusters and I wanted a proton pack. Some kids saw Star Wars and wanted a lightsaber. I knew what I wanted. And once you build it, well, what are you going to do? Hang it on the wall and then do nothing with it? Yeah, we, we end up getting a lot of really good feedback from people and everybody wants to run over and get a picture with you. Hey, you guys are. Um, you're half naked girl in the middle of convention, so. <laughs> Usually, you know, if there are boobs or something involved, they'll usually notice that first. <laughs> you gotta realize it's a costume. I mean, you have to be comfortable with yourself, what you're wearing. If you're not comfortable in your costume, don't wear it. <laughs> it's part of the fun of it, you know? People appreciate your costume and um, you're getting to share that with them. I mean, it's part, pretty much why you do it.